I'm Dr. Robert Prince and I'm director of the pain management clinic at Faith Regional Physician Services. When I was growing up, both of my best friends, their fathers were physicians. When I would go over to their house, I would hear their uh, physician fathers listening to tapes about medicine. And I would listen with them and I just thought it was fascinating. My parents recognized that I had an interest and they bought me a, a book about the Mayo Brothers. And I read that book when I was 14 and I, I was just fascinated with it. And I, I thought, this is what I want to do. I just knew it's what I wanted to do. And I never wavered from that decision all the way through my career. Most commonly, we see patients with back pain, neck pain, uh, fibromyalgia, but we also see uncommon uh, syndromes. A uh, patient who maybe broke his leg and now the whole leg still hurts, uh, called complex regional pain syndrome, or he had a hernia repair, and uh, about 10% of the time that surgeons do hernia repairs, there's a nerve in there that can get either entrapped or injured during the surgery. It's not the surgeon's fault, but it causes chronic pain there. And we have a small electrical device that we can implant that can, that can ameliorate that pain. Traditionally, what we do in pain clinics is to try to find the source of the problem, and then we work with a lot of other people, including neurologists who might do an EMG, psychologists who might help you because you lost your job and became disabled because of this problem, and maybe you've become debilitated because you've been sitting in a chair, so now you need physical therapy to help you get strong again. It really is a matter of coordinating a lot of other specialties. And then we can use small amounts of steroid under x-ray, for example, if there's an area that's inflamed. If there's a particular area that hurts, we can burn a small nerve that goes to that area so it doesn't hurt anymore. Um, for people who can't tolerate pain medicine, we can put a morphine pump in or some other pump that delivers medicine directly to the spinal cord. We have small electrical wires we can put in the body to help uh, ameliorate pain from different nerves that might be injured. So there's a lot more that we bring to the table than, the, than just giving a pill. I was majoring in mathematics and I had access to a computer at night that nobody was using. So I decided what to do is I needed to figure out how to play blackjack better. So I programmed the computer to play thousands of hands of blackjack and then I tried different strategies to see which ones would be winning strategies. I learned basically how to count cards and once you know the count, then depending on whether you hit or stick is affected by that count and how much you bet is affected by that count. Well, Atlantic City had gotten gambling while I was in college, so I would drive from uh, Maryland, where I was in college, to Atlantic City, and that's where I would practice and make a little extra money for uh, college, um, and I'm still a heck of a blackjack player. <laughs> <laughs>